People all over the world have my disease. I'm here to find a cure. Johnny! What did you do to yourself, Doctor? I wish I knew. A crippled doctor seeks a cure for his rare blood disorder through vampire bats. After his experiments go wrong, he transforms into a bizarre blood-sucking creature with super strength, hearing and the ability to ride the wind. What can go wrong? Hey everyone, welcome back to Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Rubalcava, joined once again by Mr. Ael Panetta, and today we'll be reviewing Morbius, directed by Daniel Espinosa. Jared Leto? Weird face guy? Bats? Beats? Battlestar Galactica? Uh, I mean... It's a vampire movie by Marvel. No, not that vampire. This vampire is about 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> all of their strengths, <laughs> none of their weaknesses, yeah. but not Blade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, all of their strengths, all of their strengths, none of their weaknesses, except for the thirst. And that yeah. was Blade. Exactly. Oh, man. And he can't fight or wield a sword to save his life, apparently. I know. <laughs> Just because you become a superhero does not mean you have the ability uh, to fight anything. Well, you do have the ability to ride farts, apparently. Like, Seriously. Like who, who was in does. there just riding the wind? They're like, he can fly, Peter Pan. He can fly. It was <laughs> so funny. So he got lighter because he could ride the wind I now? I guess so. They, they, with, his, with his weird Rick and Morty eyes. And oh, my God. <laughs> his so weird, weird ears that look like, I don't know what they looked like. The way they were vibrating. You know what they look like to me? me out. You ever see like those... Um, like those Photoshop lamprey disease things. So Lampreys. It, yeah. So uh, what happens is it's like a, it's like a blood sucking worm thing. Oh like yeah. Thing, but they Photoshop yeah. it in like your arm or your feet or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like lamprey's disease. It was like an internet meme or so something. Dumb. It reminds me of that, but in his ears. Yeah. It's so gross. Oh my it's, God. it's like, I, and the thing is I, so I watched the movie today. It, it took me four times to make it through this movie. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um, but I didn't notice it until I was watching it in the daytime, and I'm like, "What is what's up with his ears? Are they are they like vibrating?" Yeah, they're like. So I actually vibrating. walked up to my TV and saw that they were actually just like vibrating. Yeah, weird weird little like things Ugh. came out of them. Yeah, it's like they had gills or something. It's not cool, man. Or Waterworld. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Kevin Costner had gills <laughs> in his ears with his web toes. Uh, Get them with his web toes. The movie was so weird, man. Uh. He was like, "Oh, is that pee? Yeah, we're gonna drink it. All right." Oh, yeah. far out, man. That was the first five minutes of water. Water. Yeah, I know. I was just so confused. So this is this movie. Was this movie feels like Diet Blade. <laughs> it, was, it was worse than Diet Blade. Yeah. The, like, did you ever see Dark Man? Blade Zero. Yeah, they, they man. got like the like a lot of the Dark Man beats of him doing experiments and stuff. So it was like Blade meets Dark Man. Yeah, it's, I'd say so. But that was a uh, Sam Raimi movie, and you know, significantly yeah. better. Yeah, uh, man. But this movie got delayed a bunch of times, and then, you know, I, I can't help but get signals that maybe like they delayed it also because it's the the problems were formed by bats, and he was experimenting on bats. Yeah, he got some sort of weird disease from bats. Yeah, they're like, are we just riding ourselves in a circle? Mm, with but bats? you know, I'm just saying, like bats. Like, what 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 else happened recently with bats? And speaking of bats, you know, yeah. so many hard P's and B's today. <laughs> bikes, bikes, bats, bats, bikes, bats, bikes, 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 <laughs> boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> uh, but after being in the winds for so long, yeah, so I, to speak. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> after writing, after writing farts for so many years, <laughs> yeah. I have to say this movie wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. You know, it's and I'm a little disappointed it isn't as bad as I had hoped it was going to be. Yeah. The internet memed this one up pretty well, man, and uh it it didn't live up to the negative hype apparently. I unfortunately think, rather. I think what happened was Jared Leto was in this movie. Yeah. And uh he, I don't know if it's just me, but he comes off as kind of a douche. <laughs> yeah, because he's he channeled his Jared Leto. He's kind of a douche. He's like, I'm a scientist dying of blood diseases, but I'm also Jared Leto. That you needed a little. But then again, who else could have played Dr. Michael Morbius at your service? I don't know. The other guy? <laughs> <laughs> that guy? <laughs> yeah. uh, open the window. Skeletor you! face. <laughs> Hey, buddy, do you want to be a superhero? <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> I show him Matt Smith. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about Matt Smith. Blind man. With his weird no eyebrow having self. Yeah. <laughs> if him and 
and Julia Styles got together. My God. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fat, no fat face, yeah. no eyebrow babies <laughs> looking like chunky skeletors. <laughs> <laughs> at least they could survive like a thousand like hits to the face by like concrete like <laughs> get in the face a thousand times by airbags and be okay. <laughs> be totally fine. Oh man, they could probably dance together too. <laughs> you know, you know, like you press your face up against glass and like you only get like part of it. Just smushed. And <laughs> it would just be like their face, just like <laughs> like it's like oh, it's ugly. <laughs> <And blocked. laughs> Your baby's face is melting. Oh no! <laughs> do I have a baby noise here? I don't think so. I think we do oh, we somewhere. Do. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, that was weird. <laughs> oh boy! Oh man, I could roast that. <laughs> yeah. One more time. There we go. Oh, so Morbius, not the worst movie, I think. No, it starts off with him going into uh, Costa Rica, and you know he goes up to they set, so him and whoever these guys are just set up this this. It looks like. I don't know. It looks like something that's Julianne's fries. Julianne's potatoes. Julianne's potatoes. Yeah, it makes them into French fries. You know what a Julianne is? Oh, oh Julianne's yeah. Up? Yeah, so it looks like that. It looks like an egg. Like, you know that thing you pull down on a hard boiled egg to slice it into pieces? Mm-hmm. Think of that device standing right in front of a cave entrance. So that's called a Julianne? <laughs> no, it's a Julianne is that slidey thing. I had my, my tools in the kitchen mistaken. You mean a mandolin? No. Or is it called. It may be called a mandolin. I think it's called a mandolin. But the f- the way of the slice, I guess, it's ends a up Julian in a Julian slice. slice. Okay, good. Ah, there we ah. go. Ah, kitchen <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Two men who actually cook in the kitchen. What? I know, right? No, I just make it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's like I got a knife. <laughs> it chops knife. things. <laughs> this is a knife. Shwing. Dude, I want to start sharpening my knives with a Dremel. Dude, that'd be sick. <laughs> I've been watching like YouTube videos. Use, a, like use it with your. Uh, <laughs> no, you got to get like a wet rock and just actually go in your garage and step on it and really do it old school style. Mm-hmm. You got to keep your garage door open. <laughs> oh, <wait>. and <laughs> I got to dress like Slade too. Yeah, <laughs> just wearing like leather. We're gonna walk sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> and like shave my head and do like a mohawk. Who's this guy? <laughs> And behind me, there's like axes and guns, <laughs> like on the wall, and like blue lights. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone looks at me like, "What are you doing?" In your suburban just, just, SUV. <laughs> yeah, just quietly close the like, garage door, like looking at them as a. <laughs> Every neighbor is alarmed. HOA has been notified. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They never answer their phone. There you go. <laughs> Stupid HOA. Uh, they just take your fees. I know, but yeah. So this movie, <laughs> this movie, yeah, yeah. The Julian slicing like. Like lasers at the beginning. Is yeah, that what you're talking about? Yeah, okay, I was like, wondering what the hell you're talking. Yeah, so Jared Little walks up to this cave entrance in front of that thing and like slices his palm clean open. It's like, dude, you already have a bloodborne disease, right? Why are you letting your blood go? But th- that's the other thing is that this is like prologue one, and and it and it really <laughs> and didn't we do mean prologue one because there's another there's one. There's a proper prologue after this. Yeah, <laughs> so it jumps from like this scene to this scene and then it jumps back to that. I scene. actually wrote this time jump was dumb. It <laughs> was pretty dumb. Yeah. Uh, and and I actually think this scene would have actually fit perfectly where it happened in the movie chronologically. Yes. Also, it really gave me oddly enough Batman Begins vibes <laughs> as soon as it started. It did. Right. I saw it and I was like, have I seen this movie before? I yeah. have. I so have. so somehow the vampire bats like he has to get the vampire bats out of this cave. Yeah. I guess that's why they 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 want you to forget about like that. Yeah, that because he wanted to get them out of the cave, but he had like a laser thing. Yeah, the mercenaries he hired to help him. He asked them to leave because they're all afraid of the vampire bats. Yeah, because vampire bats just attack humans. Apparently <laughs> I, I, they don't. Yeah, why would they attack just humans? There's never humans around where they are. They, yeah, they seriously went into like they just have an anticoagulant <laughs> when they bite like do you ever and see they it? literally lick little patches of blood. They don't suck blood like a freaking <laughs> Like a lab ray. Like, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you ever see that scene in Lord of the Rings where like the rock creatures are like fighting while they're like in the water, like while they're like going through the. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's where they were. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they, were, let's, let's, they were seriously in a dark and stormy like vampire bat. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy <laughs> in Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, that was good. Oh, uh, yeah, that's some deep dive in here. <laughs> and it, yeah, and it just really like cut from there to the next prologue, which is yeah. 30 years prior in Greece, apparently where uh, more. Yeah, was, was it really Greece? It was supposed to be there. They they're briefly speaking like these trolley wog kids wearing okay. their, their school I mean, you kid are outfits. the resident Greeks. So I would assume you would know. Yeah, just like uh, Russell Crowe and his bad Greek accent and, <laughs> and Thor love and thunder. Except, Dude, that was terrible. Yeah, except except now we got oh. Oh, what's his name except now we got Jared Harris in his yeah. finest Greek accent uh, being an Englishman. Yeah, that was dude. His, whatever that was. It looks like he just spoke as if 
He was just talking to everybody. His normal everyday speak. <laughs> I was like, all right, bad guy. You're going to be a bad guy. Yeah. Well, anyway, he should have played Dumbledore when Dumbledore died because he's his son. I think, yeah. I come, think. Come but anyway. Yeah, probably. Instead, we got another dude playing Dumbledore. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Bad and random moments, man. Okay. Uh, nope. There we go. That's, so, that's what I've been looking so, for. So he's a, he's a kid in Greece, Morbius, and then he meets Milo. Yeah. Uh, and they both well, have the same blood disorder, but Milo apparently didn't know about it. Okay, now this was stupid to me. <laughs> Carry on, because I can say a lot of this okay. as well. So so they have to get this uh, transfusion slash dialysis every twice a day to, so they don't die, right? But the machine yeah. started dying, right? So the, yeah. machine, the machine dude, of Milo broke, dude. <laughs> right? And then Morbius looked at the machine, opened it, Realized that the fuse he, had gone out. He did out. this. We're going to zoom in on my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fuse. I was sure if you're done yet. Uh, the fuse. I was in Morbius time, okay? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to pull out a cigarette and be like done with it. Uh, <laughs> no way. Uh, and he, he, the, he put the fuse out and then put uh, the, the, the spring from a pen. From a ballpoint pen. From a ballpoint pen. pen to break the... to. To create, to keep the circuit, to keep the circuit going, yeah, to complete it. But that's what a fuse does. Yeah, and stupid Jared Harris is like, oh my god, it took the yeah. greatest minds <laughs> in all <laughs> the world to create this. <laughs> it was a fuse. Sorry. Oh god. It just oh god. Leaked all over this guy. <laughs> uh, it was a fuse. It was literally a fuse. Like <laughs> he just happened to have metal handy. He was like, oh man, I wonder what would fix that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he shocked himself. Oh, but oh, he, just, <laughs> he was like, oh my god. It would have made oh, more it, sense. Yeah, for this movie, he would have been like. Now I can control electricity and bats. He he should have been like dying and then like try to figure out what it was and then like ran his blood like oh I'll get a coffee filter that'll help like mix it with some charcoal <laughs> from the from the barbecue yeah you know <laughs> there we go because it because you got to keep the old old uh, charcoal for the new burgers yeah so they <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's another deep cut from another episode oh, uh, but uh but apparently this this thing that he has made him so smart that he's gonna cure their disease in the future one day let me tell you man i am actually certified in basic electronics and some industrial technology isn't chemistry by it, the way it is not especially is, biological chemistry it is very different oh. all he did was literally complete a circuit you know how you flick a light switch mm. that's what he did mm, mm, that's exactly mm, what he did mm, this mm, thing mm, mm, yep and, that's, and that's and what he put what it he back in it's like good god man i, I jesus christ it's I, jason born <laughs> 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 Oh, Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. So yeah. they send him to some preppy school, but they leave yeah. Milo behind. It's yeah. <laughs> and then Milo walks outside the okay, so apparently like the Greek kids are really mean to the crippled people. Dude, man. Morbius is like, don't leave the place, it's not safe. You even see them in the windows, like waiting for them to come outside. Like <laughs> 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 we're gonna go beat up some crippled yeah. boys. <laughs> Cause they can't run. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and he still gets like the upper hand on like okay, yeah, so he they, cracks one with his freaking uh, uh his crutch. Yeah, his crutch. <laughs> I thought that was pretty dumb. Like, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care where you are or when you are. Like, a bunch of kids beat up on crippled kids. Like, someone's gonna, like, you're gonna get some like guy, scone looking guy coming. Like, yeah. what the hell are you guys doing beating up crippled <laughs> <Exactly>. kids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of there. <laughs> <laughs> the cartoon yeah. dude comes out, <laughs> save him, starts beating all the able-bodied kids. It's like Who Framed Roger Rabbit over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, man! No, it was like, yeah, you can't <laughs> beat up crippled kids and not get beat up yourself. It's just the way things work. I know they didn't have iPhones back then. There were people yeah. just watching it happen. I know. <laughs> Don't tell me it didn't happen. I, I saw, saw it happen. happen. <laughs> I recorded it uh, I have it on a subway we're recording it. The man had an axe. <laughs> oh, Gosh. oh, man. okay. So we smash cut to the present. Yeah, where he already got his bats and yeah. So now yeah, they're Milo in crazy freaking. I don't know what science lab he has. Yeah, he's got a science lab in a regular hospital. Apparently yeah. uh, Milo has become rich and funds his projects to cure them and they hang yeah. out from time to time. Yeah. Uh, he has captured the vampire bats and somehow put them in his lab without his assistant knowing it. Yeah, um, like she suspects something. Yeah, uh, her name is uh, Martine Bancroft. Martine <laughs> Bancroft sounds like uh, someone wrote like uh, Laura Croft and then like yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, it's banned. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was literally. I was just like, these are vampire names. <laughs> Bancroft, Morbius. Yeah, and Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 
<laughs> haven't had that name heard with a vampire in the same yeah. sentence in years. It's been years. <laughs> we fight the underworld. That movie was looked so much with, like Blade. With the lichens. <laughs> it's like Blade with the chick. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh, I, oh I like that old meme from uh, the internet where uh, they had Twilight... Like that, that dude and the other chick like sitting next to each other and like in the background was Blade. It's like it's only a oh, yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Edward and whatever the hell her face was. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, open mouth, breather face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lady Beavis. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> She's <Lady> all chief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this movie. Yes. Morbius, movie. Dr. Michael Morbius <laughs> yeah. at your service. Yeah, so we're here now. We are in the present time. Oh, in the present he, time. So he cut, we smash cut to him running an experiment. He's, he pokes I'm, a mouse with a, with whatever the heck. A, blade serum. Yeah, with this, yeah, with this blade serum. That's what we're going to call it. He, he stabs it with this blade serum and he watches the mouse die and, you know, Bancroft herself is like, oh, the mouse is dead. So he goes and obviously has a patient because he's a doctor. And starts taking care of this girl who also has a bloodborne disease. Oh, we forgot to mention that he accidentally discovered fake blood that can be used as a replacement for real blood for humans. I remember but he tried to discover a, well, it, it happened it, so much. It happened abruptly, but we'll talk about that because there's clearly a room with like two types of blood. Like the, it's like a walk in refrigerator. Yeah. One side is blue stuff and the other one is red stuff. <laughs> and he's like, like okay, enter the matrix. <laughs> yeah. What blue stuff and red stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Take the blue yeah. pill. So, <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, no, but um, he's staying so, Wonderland. No, stay, stay in Wonderland or take the red pill. Is Sean Connery now? And see how far this rabbit hole goes. Yeah. <laughs> um, or how deep I think he's in. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so obviously he goes to tend to his patient, and then Bancroft or M- Martin goes, Morbius, it worked. And of course, music. <laughs> Yeah, and movies. Time Everyone's to do like, time to do human trials. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight to human trials because yeah. this this rat came back to life. So he gets Milo to fund international water research. Yeah, and hire a bunch of mercenaries. We're doing international waters. You got to bring the mercenaries. Yeah, it's like it's like, okay. So they went out there and he turned into Blade. <laughs> but like he killed all the mercenaries. Uh, he turned into Goonies Blade. No, not even. He turned into Bullet Time Blade. <laughs> He did. He turned into uh, Max Payne. The best way I can describe this is: uh, Do you remember oh, what the hell's his name in X Men? The blue X Men who can, oh like, Nightcrawler. Teleport. Nightcrawler. He turned yeah. into Nightcrawler. Yeah, the, in the X-Men Nightcrawler too. smoke. Yeah, yeah. That's push, what he's doing. Push, 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 push. Except he's just super fast. Yeah, that's it. But it looked like he could teleport, but he couldn't. Yeah. Uh, he killed all the mercenaries in international waters, and somehow he made it back. By himself. Yeah. Well, he actually managed to somehow hurt, um, what's her name, Bancroft, where she had to be hospitalized and stuff. So, well, he like pushed the door down. Oh, oh yeah. And it like, like boxed her in the head but, or like, something. Yeah. And every, and, and the mercenaries were like trying to kill him because they didn't know what the yeah. hell was happening. And by the way, like his mercenaries were kind of douchey too. Like yeah. they're hired to take, they're to total, protect them as far as I can tell. Yeah. And then they're like totally treat them like hot garbage. To, treat them like hot garbage. And they got kind of rapey for a while. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck was that about? It's like your boss is going to be like, hey, how did the mission in the international waters go? Oh, we tried to rape the girl because she was hot. And then the other guy was like crippled and douchey. Yeah. It's like, Why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> they hired you. You're there for money. <laughs> Okay, so that was weird. Uh, yeah, it was all weird. Ah, uh, ha, ha. such a weird movie. Yeah. Okay, so the, the nuances were off in this movie. <laughs> so Tyrese and uh, Madrigal, what's his name? Tyrese, no Tyrese and uh, Al Madrigal, Rodriguez and Stroud are two FBI agents tracking this down because they haven't seen anything this hot since Venom in San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's oh, a no. world building. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I just realized that. Yeah. Please have no number two for this movie. <laughs> number two. Oh, no. they, they teased a number of four. Five, oh, I know, six, man. I was, we'll get we'll get to that with the power of ADR. We're going to put <laughs> <laughs> we're, we we only had five minutes with Jared Leto in a car and then just CG the rest. Anyway, yeah, pretty much. I don't know. So Milo. So, okay. So he, he knows he's a vampire. He knows he's blade now. He does a bunch yeah. of like experiments on himself. Which I actually think was kind of cool with him timing himself. How long does it take me to go from Jekyll to Hyde? Yeah, I actually mentioned that was pretty cool to, to develop some hypotheses and everything for this stuff. So uh, that was that was cool. And that's where we figure out that like he's like dying, and then he's like, yeah. "Oh no, what do I need?" So Blade has a serum that he yeah. takes. It's not blood. Yeah. So that's the blue serum. So he's like, "I made a synthetic blood that's like saves yeah. people." 
Yeah. Uh, which they briefly mentioned that Tyrese like was in like Afghanistan or something yeah. and was injured, but they had they had him in like a robot arm in the trailer. <laughs> I don't think they had the robot arm in this. No, movie. they didn't. He was wearing a jacket the whole time. Yeah, he wasn't. They, they're he, like budgets are over guys. Not even budgets like just change the movie. Yeah, I think I think movie. I think Marvel Studios saw this movie and had a, like a lot more intertwiningness. Yeah, in it because like maybe like Tyrese is going to be an X-Man or something. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, oh, we don't like this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap Spider-Man, scrap like that, and scrap all that stuff. It was bad. Yeah, it was really difficult to watch. More uh, Tyrese not get ripped to shreds like by Ludacris in a Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> I just expected Ludacris to show up at any point yeah. just to roast him. <laughs> My favorite is like, hang on one second. <laughs> Apparently, this was like a a, a, a uh, like an unscripted moment. Oh where, yeah, where, where I know like, exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Where like the Rock was coming into like their like family party at the yeah. end of the movie. And then, <laughs> yeah, and Tyrese is like, "Look who it is! Better hide your baby oil." <laughs> and then the Rock comes like, <laughs> "Better hide that big ass forehead of yours." <laughs> and then <laughs> and then Ludacris does a spit take because it was unscripted. <laughs> and then Tyrese is like, "Man, this he's, is like, talking. he's like, dang man, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> was to this movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy, that was good. <laughs> oh man, but family. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking we so much more about yet? other things in this movie. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. uh, that okay, goes okay. to show you, right? So he puts himself in like the the cell where they put the Hulk, yeah. so like they can hide him, just so he can see how long he can go without needing blood. Yes. Milo comes in who funded the whole thing. Want to know what the hell's going on? Because all his mercenaries are dead, apparently. Yeah. And then he finds him. He's like, I need the blood. He yeah. He's the like, blood. he's like writing in blood. He's like, blood. The room. If someone the room. told me they needed blood and there was a room full of blue stuff and red stuff, I would give him the red stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't give him the blue stuff. I, I wouldn't even know what the blue stuff is. Like I would imagine him being in the blue stuff and just him like, no. <laughs> no blood. Yeah, blood. Uh, I was waiting for that. Yeah, to happen, so but. yeah, so he grabs the blue stuff, the blue and, stuff, he and he it. hands it over to him. And then Jared Leto proceeds to pound this thing like <laughs> a like a thirsty toddler in a, in a freaking Capri Sun no, commercial. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous the way he. Would, yeah. I wonder how many times Jared Leto practiced drinking from a Capri Sun pouch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> he's like, oh goodness, oh, oh. he's a fake juice. <laughs> oh man, this I, movie, I man. I like the the Capri Sun like ad agency. They saw the T one thousand effect and like, give me that for my commercials. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I need. Back in the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, is that Mercury? Sweet. Oh, Mercury is so bad. <laughs> yeah, it'll literally kill you. Yeah, yeah. Where do you even find Mercury in the wild? Man, I don't know. Is it found on Mercury? <laughs> I'm no scientist. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm a doctor, Jim. <laughs> yeah, not a physicist. Uh, okay, so he gives him the do- the blood. He's like, "Did you find a cure? It's not a cure. It's a curse." <laughs> but it looks like a cure. You're ripped, and you can walk now. Yeah, like you're huge. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I want to be huge." Yeah. So he clearly I takes fix my skeletal face. Like, no, I must destroy all those syringes over there because they're clearly poisonous. Yeah, <laughs> okay. they're right there. Yeah, uh, the straight across the room. The only ones that look like syringes with no I'm applicators. Just, I'm just going to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend <laughs> nothing happened at all. I'm going to turn around and cover my eyes. <laughs> my bat ears and vision are gone. Well, why? Because the script calls for it. <laughs> How else will we get a plot device? I know. <laughs> you imagine if Morbius is like, all these syringes must must be destroyed. I'll go take them and put them in the furnace right now. <laughs> 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 They're like, no, don't do that, Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's got a movie. <laughs> the Netflix guy with the clipboard comes out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's make sure this one keeps going. <laughs> Speaking of Netflix guys, screw that guy. God, man. Morbius is up for licensing. Pick it up. Pick him up. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I don't know. So Milo obviously picks up the, the serum. Yeah, the, the, he does a little quick and blade. takes it with his hands. Yeah, so and obviously the the story continues. I'm gonna call it the Reaper serum because that's what it was in Blade. Oh uh, yeah, it was the Reaper it, serum. but anyway. So he takes he kills a nurse, but we don't know who kills the nurse oh, at first. Yeah. Oh, who kills her? Whoa, whoa. Mind you, it's just a cutscene to a nurse running down a hallway. She's like, like scary movie. Just style. scared. She's like, oh. Oh, what's happening with these lights? I feel something, and the lights start going. She starts running. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Speaking of like 
like Matt Smith when he turned Milo when he turns into like more like blader of a vampire like he gets like all sexy and good. remember he went to like a nightclub and he started like oh, yeah. he's like hey baby he's can like, I buy you a drink and some dude's like hey what are you doing talking to like that girl that I never he's like, met don't before. you know I was in last night in Soho Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was Doctor Ho next year I'm in Game of Thrones Rose. oi 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 <laughs> pip pip jo <laughs> blimey <laughs> But like, okay, so like that wasn't even his girlfriend like that. Other no, dude. it was just some chick. Yeah, she was just some chick and he was just talking to her and she wasn't even like, like, ugh. like he, he, yeah, she just, was genuinely the, entertaining him. Yeah. Yeah, they were entertaining each other like they're yeah. they talking, right? And then like then the, then they beat him up and like kicked him out and then he ate them. Yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was a weird scene. Um, it's just all of this just felt like it was just like, hey, that'd be a good scene to record. And you open a record that day. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, it was so, an idea. So they find out the nurse got killed and then Morbius is like leaving the building and like he's been kind of like they've been wanting to question him for a while because yeah. like all the shady stuff that's been happening and he runs into uh, Tyrese and Al Magdrigal. Yeah, like the two FBI agents. They're like, hey, Michael Morbius. How you doing? He's like, I'm fine. He's like, I'm just leaving. And he goes, okay. Then they're like, oh, no, dead woman upstairs. They're like, come with us. Yeah, they're like oh, and then, then there's like a big chase scene. Yeah, and then they catch him. They catch him somehow, and then he's like, "Because he's blade." Yeah. Oh no! No, they catch him because Augusta, like someone farted. Oh um, yeah, and he's like, Whoa. and he's like, <gasps> "No, <gasps> what was that?" Yeah, he was. Uh, his Spider-Man web stopped working for a second. It wasn't even sp- <laughs> I, I don't know. Apparently, when like wind gusts at him, he turns into like like a like a balloon. Yeah, <laughs> he's filled. Yeah, with, that was so he's weird. Filled with helium. Uh, so he goes to jail because like they assumed that like he was behind everything, yeah. right? And he he pulls a Hulk line. <laughs> You're not gonna like me when I'm angry. Except he replaces angry with hungry. You're not gonna like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> so they get up and actually walk out of the room. Yeah, they they're get like, out of the room. They're like whatever, Michael Morbius. Yeah. Okay, Michael Morbius. <laughs> what does the script say? Walk out of room so Milo can come in. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a stage play. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They're like, we're getting out. Therese is like, I'm a bad guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> we are we are we are bad guys, but we're not bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's Satine. <laughs> yeah, so so they leave because the script said so. Like I'd imagine it being like a Romeo and Juliet. No, 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 Romeo. William Shakespeare like play like hath we leave the room. <laughs> Surely nothing terrible can happen. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, yes. And they quietly leave and then like the door opens again. Yeah. Matt Smith enters. Well, by that time he's actually in his cell. Oh, was he? Because uh, it wipes. No. Oh. <laughs> and now he's in a cell. In Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> and of course. <laughs> of course, Milo walks in and you know. Just does I'm my gonna, little thing. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna let you out because like I'm the bad guy of the movie and we're gonna start a chase. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's like, I'm gonna walk right out of here without my cane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Then, yeah. <laughs> Jared Little's like <laughs> Or rather, Morbius is like, his cane. His cane is here. <laughs> it's he on. is walking away. The movie has its is villain. Is he walking on sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he started doing the little peppy step. <laughs> Doop a doop. Like, you know, like all like <laughs> <laughs> Staying alive, like that's bang. like yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Just expect to see a keyboard on the floor so you can slide across it. <laughs> uh, Weird Al just like chilling. <laughs> okay, you mean Daniel Wright? <laughs> yeah. I, oh yeah. Anyway, uh, so so then the chase scene starts. I don't even really remember yeah. like where it goes. They, no, they just they just chase fight each, each other. other through the city, then end up in the subway somehow. Oh yeah, and that's how he gets away with his the fart magic. But, yeah. Like, but Matt Smith killed a bunch of dudes in the yeah in the subway. It was like he was thirsty. Yeah, he was just like, oh man, I really go for some dude juice. Yeah, and was that where? So he, so he disappeared. Matt Smith disappeared into the night. And so did uh, so did uh, Morbius, and then we somehow cut to now the officers are going to question Martine Bancroft, and you know she pulls a quick one on them and disappears. And Whoop. yeah, well, I was like, whoo hoo. There's a couple of things that happen. Okay, first yeah. he runs in. Uh, Morbius runs into these like punks who are like. I think he just hears them using his like weird like lamprey ears. No, he's with. He's actually having coffee with. Oh yeah, he met her on the bus. Yes, and he's like he's like hey, let's go get some like coffee at Norm's. I could really do with like a yeah. freaking country fried steak right now. <laughs> yeah. So like they're at Norm's eating like coffee and like just hanging out. Yeah. Like he's not even like hiding. He's like this. Yeah. I mean, he, he's clearly Jared Leto playing Morbius in this yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I would be. I, he really I, is. If I were as dumb as that sounds, it's literally what is happening if, before us. If I were in Norm's and I saw like Jared Leto 
like dressed like this and like talking to some like you know like like chick. I'd be like, oh, fuck, it's Jared Leto. They're <laughs> filming a movie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like something is going on here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh boy. So that's what happens. So yeah, they're this there. This is a drag. And then they overhear like these like thugs like just talking like, hey man, yeah, we're totally counterfeiting money over here. Yeah, we're counterfeiting money. Oh no, they're trying to like give the the waitress counterfeit hundred dollar bills. Like, yeah, yeah, it's real. I'll give you all the counterfeit hundred dollars. Yeah, bills. just give me change. Give me change. change. It'd be, it'd be great. You know, and she checks it and she's like, oh, it's okay. It looks real. Yeah, yeah it's all okay. So obviously now that he's a scientist slash vampire supervillain hero, whatever the hell he is, anti hero, he's like, I must, I must do something. <laughs> and then Mankoff is just like. Don't you give me that look? I've seen that look. It's like what, what when he look? walks over to a petri dish <laughs> and fall. <laughs> he poops himself <laughs> over. He misjudges a ledge. <laughs> He's, like, what? He's like, my candor is unmatched. <laughs> like, what is he? What is even going on? All of a sudden, he has this dude. This I'm drive to go and like <laughs> correct crime counterfeits. <laughs> Counterfeiters, yeah. gosh, he man! Like the Incredible Hulk from the original <laughs> series, <laughs> he goes from town <laughs> to town solving <laughs> mysteries. I'm gonna flip over this mini, <laughs> dude. I'll tell you what. I had knee surgery once, and I was taking a piss standing with crutches. Like day one, <laughs> I fell while taking a piss. <laughs> I fell. I fell like almost at my sink because we both had knee surgery. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. It's rough out there for knee surgery. <laughs> Dr. Michael Morbius wasn't solving crimes. No, before. not at all. This She's never could, seen this. This look. Could, could barely look go across the room without like stilts. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Oh, okay. So back to the they go. So, he goes to the counterfeiting lair because they apparently have a whole like bat cave where they do yeah, counterfeiting. Somehow, so, I want these that counterfeiters bat cave. that are dealing in paper <laughs> counterfeiting have enough tools they to allow a damn scientist yeah. to create a freaking crazy lab. Yeah, that reminds me of Darkman where Darkman had the uh, abandoned uh, warehouse where he did all his experiments. Mm -hmm. So they kind of borrowed that, but he ran into the counterfeiters and the counterfeiters like a bunch of thugs like, who the hell are you? He's like, oh, I'm a doctor and I know exactly how many bones there are on your hand. Yeah, he's like, and grabs the dude. No, he, beats, he beats a bunch of them up. He starts breaking the dude's like bones. He's like, you got all these bones. I'm gonna yeah, he's describing one. his finger bones. You, your carpal bone here. Go, uh, he's like, take bones. ibuprofen. In six months, you'll be fine. Yeah, well, no. before that, he's like, oh, I am. Venom. Oh, yeah. I uh, was stupid. He was like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, Dr. Michael Morbius. He didn't even say that. That was in, I know. The trailer. That was in the trailer. <laughs> So I keep quoting from it because it wasn't even the movie. Yeah, the trailer. Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. The trailer was way better. It was way misleading. It was like the um, the Avengers Endgame trailer or Avengers Infinity War trailer with a oh, bunch man. of like alternate scenes in it. That's like so, look over here. Ha ha. Quick so, one. So now he's got a layer. Yeah. And then they go the the FBI agents go to interview uh, the woman again, uh, Ma uh, Martine again. Yes. And they're like, where's she at? And they bust her door down for some reason. Maybe they got a warrant. I don't know. They were in her apartment. Because Something. Because I, I didn't know who it was at first. I'm like, oh, who are they like investigating yeah. now? Are they Same. investigating this guy or that guy? And they're like, oh, the cat's gone. Yeah. Well, then we just cut to like Martine in the lair with the cat. Yeah. I have no idea. Which, by the way, cat alert. <laughs> Always in the movies. Yeah. Uh, don't we have a happier cat? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but anyway. There, there we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there is a cat in this movie. So shout out to cats. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> they took the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so so now they're just out solving like the crimes again. Try okay. So, so this so is ridiculous. how they defeated the, the bad guy in the first blade. Was making like an anticoagulant. They would kill yeah. him. Like, they would kill him. Uh, they kill like the blood vampire in that movie. Yeah, but he's trying to make a reverse serum to what he's doing. Mm. Like so the. <laughs> he, he's, he's trying to, to make he's, he's trying to make AIDS yeah, <laughs> pretty much man. <laughs> Jeez. He's trying to make people un vampire bats. That's all he's doing. He's like, you know that I'm a vampire bat, right? We're going to do the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to create some sort of autoimmune disorder syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. Oh! oh man, and then we parkour. Yeah, he parkour, 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 parkour's over the movie. Parkour, yeah. parkour, ride right the fart, ride right the fart. Yeah, he's like, ride right the fart, ride right the fart. <laughs> okay, so uh, Milo, he's the bad guy now, yeah. as we assume. Uh, but he's he's been rich. He's been funding all these things. Yeah, and then we were talking about uh, Jared Harris, yeah. uh, who was like their mentor. The doctor was like watching yeah. over them. And he's like, Milo, you're the villain of the movie now, and you'd be smirching your, <laughs> we would be smirching Doctor Michael. Don't Morbis. kill me. <laughs> yeah, wink. Yeah, don't kill me, or or like uh, my neck's not here. Or, or better yet, like 
if you kill me or wound me mortally, make sure like you don't call nine one one and yeah. call like the guy. No, he called he called Morbius, but didn't call nine one one. Yeah, and it took like Morbius like an, I know how long it takes to get places. Yeah, you know, if you just call somebody like he's hey, dude, in New York, get over here right now. They're gonna be at least an hour and a half away unless they are next door. Yeah, they're gonna because they're doing shit. Like it's my, like and the thing is, uh, Morbius was just standing there next to his phone. Yeah. <laughs> You know, apparently, like he's like yes, like yeah, ready to write the next fart out of there. Yeah, as if his bat ears couldn't pick it up, as he called it. Jared Harris, you would have been alive if you'd called nine one one. I'm sorry, oh, you would have been man. alive if you called nine one one. So, so yeah, so, so Skeletor my, face kills him. Yeah, yeah like, uh, it kills him because like the movie said so. Actually, he doesn't kill him. He mortally wounds him, and then Jared Leto. Shows he didn't up. even mortally wound him. He mortally wounded him just out of nine one one's reach. If he dialed nine one one, he would have been alive. Yeah, he, he slipped in the tub and then like didn't have a life alert. <laughs> like he, he was life I'll alert. Fall him down. I like, can't get up. He was life alert alive. Oh man, this freaking movie. This movie. Uh so uh, so apparently that's like the big challenge, I guess, to the the end, right? Because he yeah, killed the guy. He, yeah, so he kills. He's like, him. come find me. He's like, ho ho ho! He's You'll like, never find me now. Oh. Yeah, but he uses his like magical like like lamprey ears. Yeah, he's like, ah ah! <laughs> <laughs> Time to ride the nearest <laughs> fart into this place. <laughs> Did he? Have, oh, he abducted Martine too. Yeah, he abducted Martine. He oh. hears, he hears, ah, ah, <laughs> and then, save Martha. <laughs> he just hears that. And he's like, instead of like, he hears this sound a few times. He's like, man, I should really uh, fly over there. And then out of nowhere, because his smoke somehow is his, his bat farts change color depending on his attire. Really? He's got this cape. Jacket on. I don't know what he's got on. A long coat. He's got a trench coat on with a purple liner. I'm a vampire now, so I should yeah. dress like one. <laughs> he's like purple liners, the best. Yeah. Where do you even find that jacket? Dude, I don't know. He, he went to Hot Topic. He definitely had that custom made. <laughs> he's like through all this time, I had time to make a custom made vampire jacket for my vampire things. God, Morbius. Oh, what are you sweet. doing in this movie? I don't know. Okay, so it's just so random. So he, I guess, Milo cuts. Martine's neck like she's she starts bleeding out. Yeah, and they do the blade thing where like he gives her his blood to survive, right? Yeah turns well, her so it actually doesn't appear that way when you're watching the movie when really I saw it. I'm like well, I of course you see it, but they didn't that's I why I said the like, nuances are off in this movie so they didn't do that to make it seem as if you know he was turning her he was actually like he needed more strength to fight Milo because Milo had just fed him assuming so look and she's like around. yeah, she's like here have some and she bit his lip and stuff and he's like, oh, I can't resist and does that to her neck. Yeah, so then he goes and starts parkouring again with Milo parkour parkour yeah. into this freak into the bat cave. Yeah, apparently into another bat cave and then they fight some more then does he just stab him and gives him AIDS and then he dies. Is that yeah, they have like a, they have a like a super weak carnage venom fight. Yeah, and then <laughs> It's like you couldn't CG any more into this freaking scene and Milo obviously goes back to being a human and dies instantaneously dude. I think carnage like came out like exactly like a year ago like before this one or something. Or wow, like, man. or at least I saw it Maybe probably. I don't, I don't know. We'll see, but anyway, I, I think I think <laughs> both of these movies were so anemic. Yeah, Car- and then you mentioned uh, let there be carnage Ugh. that movie had like no Nothing, had no meat to those potatoes, man. It was. It just kind of happened. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is cool. Some this of these movies just sort of happen to you. Yeah, and this is one of them. But anyway, he gives him his his anticoagulant, kills him. Like he just like he's like looks super, then he just dies. Yeah, because they apparently when you're super mode, like you look like a freaking werewolf. Yeah, a werewolf vampire. A werewolf vampire with like holes in your face. That's the weirdest freaking thing. Yeah. So then 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 they then they then they cut. Okay, they cut to Martine waking up vampire e. Yeah, this is po- this is during the credits. Yeah, because it just ends. Yeah, right. And then they cut to the end of Spider Man No Way Home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like with the with the, the uh, vulture with the cracks in the space time continuing yeah. in the in the top of New York, and then the vulture just appears in, in a jail. jail cell. And just says like, mm. they're like, oh, we should let this guy free because he doesn't exist. Well, here. For, first he's like, mm, I hope there's better food here. Like he knows exactly this what just joint. happened. Yeah, in this joint. And uh, always always be afraid of movies uh, exposition by news reporter because it's the easiest. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well get Patrick Stewart narrate your exposition because at least that'd be like <laughs> more. And then he woke up and they let him out because there was no such crime committed by an Adrian Tombs in this reality. Yeah, and you're like, whoa, whoa. Professor X is like 
Actually, Professor X was in Multiverse of Madness. It yeah, wouldn't was. Have, it would not have been that far of a stretch to have like Benedict Cumberpatch or Patrick Stewart narrate that. Yeah. Because maybe not at all. Maybe that's where that Adrian Toomes came from. Yeah, and it's you know, and so that happens and the vulture, you know, then at the end of it, finally the end of it, the oh, yeah. vulture and Okay, okay, this is even worse. He's <laughs> He Morbius is driving in like a convertible or like a nice he's car. He's driving in a in a Porsche 911 Turbo. Yeah, he's he's just hanging out driving. He got somehow got a two hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, and then he's and then he's driving along, and then like, then like it looks like a Terminator is going to arrive because like the wind's blowing. Yeah, and things are happening. He's just standing there, and his ears are going. Yeah, he, he gets his he gets his weird like lamprey tingle. Yeah, and then. Uh, and then CG Vulture shows up with Michael Keaton's voice, yeah. and he's like, "Hey, how you doing? Like, thanks for meeting me. He's like, I'm the Batman. Yeah, I'm the Batman, but I'm the Vulture in this movie." <laughs> uh, and he's like, "He's like, I don't know why we're here, but I think it has something to do with Spider Man." He's yeah. like, "Hmm, interesting." Yeah, like, he's like, guys like us, we should team up. Yeah, we should team up. And he's like, "Hmm, interesting. I'm listening." And, and then that's how the movie ends. Scene, <laughs> and that's Ooh. it. That's it. And. My goodness, that was that was rough. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, will he fight Blade now, like real Blade? That'd be cool because that'd be a good fight. You know, Blade hopefully just owns. Marshall just shows up and goes, "Stop it, Jared Leto." <laughs> He's like, "Okay, we all know you're playing." <laughs> or better yet, like multiversal, like Marshall and Wesley Snipes come and just own this dude. Oh, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing sticky fingers while you're at it. Oh God, no. Yeah. God, no. Please no. <laughs> No more. No more. Yeah. Uh, and then there also was uh, the only Marvel connection is was the Daily Bugle. In the oh, yeah. Venom. Yeah. Too bad we didn't have J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson Parkering. Parker. <laughs> Parker. Parker. Would have been great. Yeah. Why not? I'm sure he'd be like, I'd do it. But uh, other than that, very. Mm. Mm. Eh. Mm. Felt like a haphazard film, man. Mm. But yeah, you want to give the uh, yeah. grade to this one? Let's get to the grades here. Um, I'm actually going to give this one a C. Minus as surprising as it sounds. Well, not a top tier superhero villain movie, whatever you want to call this. I can appreciate this movie as a weird coming of age flick. Getting to know Dr. Morbius before he became Morbius was a welcome sight. This movie was a bit of a jumble when it came to story nuances like love interests, animosity and adversity. It did somehow hold itself together just long enough to be a tolerable entry into what I'll call the team of the MCU. The mashing of universes absolutely helped this movie ending it on a higher note than it could have ever hoped for on its own. Definitely worthy of a watch if and I'm saying only if you want to be studied in the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Other than that, you should care less. Yeah, I'm going to give it a, a C pretty much also too. There's, you know, good solid C. Morbius is not a great movie, but it's entertaining though. Jared Leto and Matt Smith have a little bit of chemistry together, and the story isn't the worst in the world, so it's worth a chance. But overall, very mediocre. Man, so mediocre. Yeah, I, uh, but it's not as bad as everyone said it was. Yeah, I don't think it was actually as bad as Let There Be Carnage. Now that we kind of managed it. Yeah, I yeah. think Let There Be Carnage was actually pretty bad. Um, I never saw any of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. Because I knew those I were cash grabs. So I made it through the first one. It was decent. The second one, I I can't even begin I, to tell you what happened. I, okay, so I fell asleep. I saw the beginning of the first one. Mm-hmm. I fell asleep. And I don't usually fall asleep during movies, but and then I woke up. And uh, it was the scene where all the people in cranes were like, oh, man, we got to help Spider-Man because he's injured. Yeah, everyone, like, move your crane. Like, since they all got the cranes down the street, so he can Spider Man, like, oh, right, yeah, they knew how his powers worked, apparently. Yeah, they lined him up like a video game, it was just like Spider Man 2, the video game. It was so bad, yeah, it was that was pretty bad. (laughs) It was so bad, pretty bad. And and, oh man, and and, horrible. And then in the second one, he killed Gwen Stacy, and that was pretty funny. Oh, okay, I had no idea, I don't even remember that. Oh, well, he's not gonna ruin it for me. I don't, I'm not gonna go out and watch it. Well, the good thing about it, the only good thing that came out of it was you know that Andrew Garfield Spider Man was. Terribly torn up by accidentally killing Gwen Stacy, uh, and then yeah. saving uh, Mary Jane or MJ in, oh, right. in the alternate universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same way he would have saved uh, Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Stacy. Uh, so that was a good. Yeah. So, so apparently the only way to save Morbius is what I'm saying is to yeah. reboot in a multiversal war somehow. It's the only way. You need to get Blade this and Wesley Snipes and uh, Marshall Ali 
all in there to like fix them and turn them back into a cripple, I guess. But anyway, that has been our hot take on Morbius. Dr. Michael Morbius at your service in the mm-hmm. cut scene of the movie. Yeah. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Do what you can. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Check out Clubhouse Movies Podcast yeah. website. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, anywhere you can. Google yeah. it. Check it out. We're around. We are everywhere. Until next time, I'm your host, Mark Will Cover, Mr. A.O. Panetta on Clubhouse Movies Podcast. We'll catch you next time. Mom!